Are you making this Google Analytics 4 settings mistake? Go into your admin section and look under the properties under data settings and there's a data retention setting. Now you can choose the period how long Google should keep your data and by default it's two months. It should be set to 14 months for every account really by default which is a best practice, I would say. Now, what is this data retention setting all about? Well, Google Analytics will discard your raw data after the two months by default, if you have that setting set. That means that not all your data will be available in all of the reports inside of Google Analytics. So it affects only certain reports inside of Google Analytics 4. But if you want to take the full advantage of it, I would set it to 40 months. But if you really want to be fancy and keep all your data not inside of Google Analytics, you want to set up Google BigQuery. This will allow you to download your raw data into the data warehousing solution of Google and analyze it yourself. You don't see any data flowing in the debug view. Well, if you go to configure debug view, this is where you can see the timeline of events and nothing is happening because in order to enable the debug view, you have to use either the extension and it's called the GA debug or the Google Tag Manager preview. We have two options here. So you would have to either put it on and you would see some data flowing or you would have to preview your Tag Manager container. Let's go to our website and let's go back to the debug view and this is where you can see the page view. Let's say I want to scroll down to the bottom of my web page and now I can see my scroll event. So you set up your GA4 event but cannot access the event parameters in the tool. Well, you have to register it as a custom definition. Copy your event parameter, the name, navigate to GA4 and click configure custom definitions and this is where you can create custom dimensions. So click create custom dimensions, provide a dimension name, the scope should be event because I'm registering this for my event, description you can provide any you want and here you should copy and paste your event parameter exactly the same way as it is in your GTM or the way you configured it and click save right here. Well done. So you register your custom definition and it should be available within your reports. GA4 e-commerce implementation in less than one minute. Number one, make sure that you have the correct data layer installed and you can check the Google documentation. Your developer should do it for you or optionally you could do it with the help of a plugin. Number two, let's go to the tag manager, click new, tag configuration. Here we have GA4 event. We select the configuration tag, event name should be event. And then we click more settings, send e-commerce data, data layer trigger. We create a new one and here we select custom event. And I have prepared this beautiful thing for you. Do not forget to check user projects matching. Let's save our trigger. And voila, of course, you have to test it and don't forget to publish your GTM container. You don't see conversion rate in your GA4 reports? Well, you have to edit manually. In the top right corner, click on the pencil, customize report, and this is where you can find the metrics. And you can add metrics and type session conversion rate and also user conversion rate. In J4, you have two types of conversion rate. Session conversion rate is the percentage of converted sessions, whereas user conversion rate is the percentage of converted users. And you can drag this up and let's click apply. And now you can see session conversion rate and user conversion rate in your report. And you can even select a specific event you want to analyze. Click save here to save changes to the current report. And now you can view those metrics in your report. Report. Well done. This is so annoying. Where is my sales performance report in GA4? Well, you should know some tricks to be able to find it. Here, I have to go to reports and then we go to monetization overview. And this is where you should scroll down to find this tiny card purchase revenue by order coupon. Don't ask me why this one. Let's click view order coupons. And this is where you can change the primary dimension to transaction ID and voila. And if you want to have it as a separate report, you can also use the customize feature to add it to your collection. If you do not know how to do it, check out our video about reports customization in GA4. Where on earth is Google Ads report in GA4? It is not easily noticeable indeed. You would have to go to reports, 
acquisition, acquisition overview. And if we scroll down, we can find this tiny card and let's click view Google ads campaigns. Here we go. You can also change the primary dimension. For example, if you want to look at the Google ads account name as well as add the secondary one. And if you want to access this report in your collection, you can also save it by using the customize report feature. If you want to learn how to do it, please check our video about reports customization. A new day, a new update. Did you also get this email? Well, don't ask me why it is in German. But if you did, this means that you're bidding on the imported GA4 conversions. And we have some great improvement here. So what was happening before? Basically, no matter what attribution model you chose in Google Ads, it's always the last non-direct click in GA4. And only later, after the import, it is attributed in Google Ads, which sucks and which is also the reason why many conversions are missing. But now with this new update, the full cross-channel conversion credit will be imported to Google Ads, even if the last non-direct click was not Google advertising, which is pretty exciting. So let's see how it goes. Do you know that you can turn your custom funnel from explorations into a standard report in GA4? And this is doable with the help of this magical button, save as a report in the library. Let's call it my test funnel. Click save, but this is not enough. Now we have to go to reports and this is where you can find library. Here you can see this beauty, my test funnel, but we also have to add it to our collection. Click edit collection. You can find it in the list right here and we can drag and drop it. And let's save it to the current collection. And voila, you can find it right here.